4 has really changed the high-speed interface world. With the latest FPGAs, I can have serial interfaces running at 56 gigabits. Whoa! It's pretty impressive that we can maintain signal integrity at those speeds. Except, uh, how do we know if we're actually doing it right? <laughs> we need to be able to test it. And you can't exactly drop a cheap test interface on there and expect to get anything useful, right? Maybe solder on a couple paper clips and call it good? Yeah, no. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Luckily, Samtech has this super high-speed signal integrity thing covered. My guest today is Matthew Burns from Samtech, and we're going to take a look at Samtech's Bullseye Test Point System, which can go up to 70 gigahertz in a really nice small form factor. I may just need this for my next eval board. All right, let's check it out. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about Samtech's Bullseye Test Point System. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Amelia. It's good to be with you on another Chalk Talk. Excellent. Now, we're talking about the Bullseye Test Point System today and Precision RF. But, Matt, before we get started, can you set the stage for us? What kind of applications and frequency bands are we going to be discussing today? That's a great question, Amelia, and I think that's a great way to start off our chalk talk today. I always like to level set on the term precision RF when talking about those solutions from Samtech. You know, when people hear RF, they get many different ideas. And one of the things I like to do to kind of define that is look at this chart of radar bands. You know, everybody knows RF from day-to-day -day use, you know, from Bluetooth to our smartphones to, to GPS to, you know, if we have navigation or satellite communications. Most of the everyday RF solutions that we depend upon for our technology-laden life really occurs between up to about six or eight gigahertz of carrier frequency or the frequency band. And a lot of RF solutions that are available from Samtech and the industry overall are targeted at those type of applications. However, when you start to look down this chart, you'll see that some of the new and emerging technologies that are really going to be driving wireless connectivity for the consumer, for both you and me, it's at larger frequency bands. Frequencies get higher, wavelengths get shorter. So that really forces the RF interconnect industry to design solutions that are targeted at 5G or targeted at automotive radar, which is some of the enabling technologies between autonomous driving and things like that. So Precision RF, from Samtech's perspective, is focusing on higher frequency interconnect, typically in the millimeter wave and microwave bands. Our focus is uh, anywhere between 18 gigahertz to 110 gigahertz. And we'll talk about some of those solutions specifically for test, which is what Bullseye is targeted at. Okay, Matt, so what kind of solutions does Samtech have in this space? Precision RF requires additional technologies and capabilities than Samtech had a few years ago. So if we've really focused on increasing our capabilities, hiring a key number of RF engineers, and in some cases, making some strategic acquisitions to really, really enable a vertically integrated ecosystem of precision RF solutions. So when you look across Samtech's precision RF portfolio, we have full cable assemblies, we have cable connectors, we have PCB level interconnect. So that gives us the entire cable portfolio but we really back that up in terms of the tech support that we offer to really look at the system holistically. So our RF engineers know how to optimize launching the signal from the RF connector with in the PCB or through the cable, looking at the, the performance of it over a complete channel. We also offer differentiated simulation and, and testing solutions, as well as full system optimization. So when it comes to precision RF, we really like to focus on the fact that Samtech is vertically integrated and offers full system support for any application between 18 gigahertz and 110 gigahertz. And Bullseye, which we're going to be talking about throughout the Chalk Talk today, is a subset of that. Okay, so Matt, the title says we're testing up to 70 gigahertz. So how exactly are we getting there? Samtech has been a player in high-performance test solutions for RF applications for a number of years, Emilio. I think we've even talked about Bullseye in some of our previous Chalk Talks. 
how we're getting to 70 gigahertz is that Samtech recently released and continues to expand capabilities of Bullseye. We're going to explore how we get to 70 gigahertz in just a little bit in the presentation, but I did want to mention some of the key differentiators that our Bullseye test point system has for system designers. Bullseye combines high density, space savings, and short trace lengths to provide optimized RF signal paths in a test environment. The high density array designs and advanced cabling solutions are fully enabled for 70 gigahertz. Our new BE70A solution supports that. Some of the other key features of Bullseye include a compression interface, which makes attaching and removing Bullseye from a PCB very easy. It also eliminates soldering costs. Bullseye is, is high density and space saving. You can see in the illustration there, on the lower left-hand side of the slide, you can see designs using traditional SMAs look like there's dozens or hundreds of SMAs on PCB. It gets heavy, it's expensive, it's difficult to, to route. However, you can see with Bullseye, we can get a, roughly a, a four to one space savings on the PCB. We also can customize what Bullseye looks like for specific applications. The illustration there on the bottom left-hand side shows that each installation of Bullseye is unique. We do also offer the technical support and technical expertise for our partners to make sure Bullseye is the right solution for them. Excellent. Now, what kind of options do I have here, Matt? Well, this cross-reference guide is sort of a one-page summary of all things Bullseye that Samtech offers. You'll see from the progression from 20 gigahertz to 40, 50 gigahertz to 70 gigahertz, the increased performance that the solution offers. We've also increased the flexibility. We've gone from offering four rows at 2.92 millimeter down to two rows using a 1.85 millimeter interconnect termination within Bullseye header. We also use a variety of cable types that really are optimized for the performance at the stated frequency ranges. One of the things that I want to mention for the BE70A is the cable type we use there is an 086 cable. One of the reasons we chose that versus an 047 is that we can get longer cable lengths and increased performance using BE70A versus some of our competition. We also talk about, as we go through the presentation, some of the design enhancements we've made around termination, the PCB transitions, the number of positions, and other key details. One of the reasons that Bullseye's become so popular, and we'll touch on this more in the presentation, is the fact that it complements dev kits, not only for FPGAs, but also for other IC solutions on the market. So Matt, since we're talking about 70 gigahertz, we should also talk about transmission as well, right? What kind of transmission types do you guys offer? That's a, another key differentiator of the Bullseye test point system, Amelia, is that we can support both microstrip and strip line solutions. As you can see from the graphic on this slide, microstrip refers to a trace route that's routed over the top layer of the PCB. That's available in both the BE70A and the BE40A series. We also offer the strip line, which is routed through a middle layer on the PCB. A strip line's available on all of our product families. Some of your, our listeners may ask, what's the big deal? What's the difference? Well, depending upon application, depending upon frequency range, microstrip and strip line both have their inherent benefits in certain applications. Just by offering the flexibility, that enables our technical experts, our RF engineers, RF experts to work with partner or customer RF team, and we can get the best solution, not only from a product standpoint, but also in terms of how we design the breakout region and the recommended trace routing within the end application to get performance up to 70 gigahertz with this solution. Another differentiator for our Bullseye test point system is the improvements that we've made in terms of probe ends within Bullseye. Our 20 gigahertz solutions have a single fixed pin point of contact with a ground that surrounds it. We also use an elastomer, which helps to make the uh, ground signal connection between the cable, the block, and the PCB. While that system works fine for 20 gigahertz, we have gotten some feedback from the field to try to improve that. You know, obviously, anytime you attach and reattach a cable solution, there's a finite lifespan to those products. So we really tried to make the interconnect system between the cable, the header, and the PCB more robust. For the BE50A, for the 50 gigahertz assembly, you'll see that we went from a single signal and single ground contact to a three-point system. There's a, a signal and two ground pins, pogo pin for signal and ground within the BE40A, the 50 gigahertz assembly, that adds a level of robustness as well as a level of performance that we didn't have with previous generations. And then we continue to build upon that with the BE70A, combine the best of both worlds. We have a spring-loaded outer contact on the proband, and not only the proband, but the header itself, the block that it attaches to is much more robust. So our latest proband really is the combination of our experience and innovation within the system to give the best of reliability and the best of performance within the bullseye test point system. 
earlier you mentioned eval kits, right? Yes, Amelia. That's another nice point that you brought out. A number of IC evaluation and development platforms, IC characterization platforms use Xilinx. Some of these are publicly available. We've worked with Xilinx on a number of their solutions. These are just two of the latest eval kits that they've come out with. I'd like to mention first the Zinc UltraScale RFSOC ZCU 1275 kit. UltraScale RFSOC is a really nice platform that's targeted at 5G applications with the integrated RF capabilities that Zinc UltraScale RFSOC has. There's different types of signals that are passing through the bullseye. It shows some of the unique characteristics that we have there. On the other hand, more traditionally, if you look at the Vertex UltraScale Plus 56G PAM4 VC129 kit, that's all about speed. The application of this platform is, you know, routing 56G PAM4 transceivers from the Xilinx chip to many industry standards interfaces. You can see that our bullseye test point system nicely complements these other interconnect solutions at 56G PAM4 data rates. Okay, Matt. So from previous Chalk Talks, I know that Samtech has a variety of SI evaluation kits. Do you have one for this system as well? We actually have a number. We mentioned previously in the presentation that we've got 20 gigahertz, 40, 50, and 70 gigahertz versions of Bullseye. So as a result, we have a number of SI evaluation kits for each of those parts of the product family. A couple key features of the SI evaluation kits for Bullseye, they come with a single compression interface, which feature the advantages of Bullseye that we talked about earlier. Each kit does come with one Bullseye cable assembly, as shown in the illustration. We route eight high-frequency referential signals from the Bullseye to each of the precision RF connectors, compression connectors on the PCB, which enables easy interface to test equipment such as VNAs and the like. Customers that purchase these evaluation kits from Samtech can be confident that the boards have been optimized to feature the highest performance possible, up to 70 gigahertz and beyond, of our bullseye solutions. And these, again, are designed to easily interface to TDRs, TDTs, and DNAs, lab equipment that's standard within SI and RF engineering labs. So, Matt, What are we really talking about in terms of performance here? You know, anytime you advertise a performance metric, you have to back that up with test data. And these two charts really highlight the latest performance that is capable within the bullseye test point system. The chart on the left is showing the insertion loss of our BE70A plus the breakout region. So we get a 3 dB loss all the way up to about 70 gigahertz. That's also a nice flat performance curve from zero out to 70 gigahertz. So we're really proud of the performance from an insertion loss standpoint. A good rule of thumb when it comes to return loss is if you've got return loss below 10 dB, you're in really good shape. So if you look at the chart on the right, you'll see that we have return loss of less than 10 dB, which includes the BE70A, the breakout region, plus a strip line trace, all the way out to 70 gigahertz. These charts, again, give us confidence to show that Bullseye achieves the results that we set out to design for. And it also gives your listeners that are using Bullseye confidence that the solution works as advertised. Cool. So Matt, say I'm working on a design that includes your bullseye test point system. Can I replace specific parts in my design or do I need to just replace the whole thing? That's another advantage of Bullseye Amelia is the fact that it's modular. There's multiple ways to purchase Bullseye. Customers can buy the fully assembled solution that fits their particular application. We can sell customers the housings and the blocks to attach directly to their PCBs, and then they can buy the cables separately. The other advantage of having this modular design is that cables are going to wear out. These are high-performance, high-precision solutions. However, they have a finite lifespan. So instead of having to replace the entire cable assembly, you just have to replace maybe just one cable, a 16 cable solution. We can provide that to our customers and they can get up and running very quickly without having to replace the entire cable assembly. So that adds flexibility, that lowers total cost of ownership. It's really a differentiator or a benefit in working with Samtech versus some of our competitors in this space. Sure, that makes sense. Now, Matt, I think that's all I have time for today. But before we go, can you recap your main points for me? First and foremost is Samtech is a vertically integrated precision RF interconnect solutions provider. In this chalk talk, we've just given a brief overview of some of our precision RF capabilities while providing a deeper dive into Bullseye. And in future chalk talks, we'll talk about in more detail everything that goes into Samtech's precision RF capabilities and solutions. 
Secondly, obviously, we want your listeners to know that Bullseye, the latest BE70A, has been fully optimized for performance uh, out to 70 gigahertz, and that in aggregate, Bullseye offers a high-density, space-saving design, which enables smaller boards and shorter trace lengths to, again, get to that 70 gigahertz performance. For more information on Bullseye, your listeners can visit samtech.com slash bullseye or email our technical experts at rfgroup at samtech.com. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me, Matt. Thanks, Amelia. It's always a privilege talking with you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about Samtech's Bullseye Test Point System. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section at EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.